Hear the poetic story of a widow as an adding voice to the wake of what I had around the globe. We all know that water is life, but the stories are builders of lives and changes of communities. So here is the story, the rejected land. Blazing heat from the tropical skies and to our foreheads and bare backs. Our lips like cracked feet, the sun scorching heat they couldn't resist. But under the shade we couldn't retreat, the thirst to beat. For the last drop of water from home, our youngest son had just finished. A drop of water to the rescue? That's a Rigo's far-fetched dream to be an eagle on Amazon forest tree. But hope made us free, free from giving up. For it was our stranger to the other end of the allocated portion of land we had to complete that day. A discard from the power of our little possessions, the unwanted piece of land before coercion of relocation from our father's compound. But this was our spring of pennies, stream of life. For those of you who have been around, does the Thomas operation of gathering from the widow to their doorsteps a mathematical rules follow? All of a sudden, an army of reposition agents from those who were once a family all this because the head of the family is normal? But isn't this a break of a simple farming rule? During the harvest time whose back is laden with wheat on the way to the barn, the sower or the reaper. I hope you're not wondering if the storyteller isn't meandering, but I guess I'm laboring as how the story of rejected land can be another ground water aid can showcase that their work is profound. Whether it's in the happy times or heartbreaking moments. So one day in 2020, around March, while we are still standing on that rejected land, we heard, retreat, let's all retreat. We are all surrounded. Surrounded from what? We asked. An armless, baseless, but furious enemy. No towering commanders or superpowers could bring him under our feet. We were a quake of aspen leaves. But in that moment we heard a voice. But with water and soap, sanitizer to the blessed few, COVID-19, we can beat. For the first time, since we had that rejected land, our hand to heaven we lifted. Hallelujahs through the atmosphere blasted. For our rejected land, was now a gold mine. There was a swamp. Like leopard, we led to fill our buckets with that free miracle pill, water from the swamp. We are survivors from the pandemic, but this isn't a gimmick. Who has ever built a bridge on swinging dunes? With drought, famine, and floods, three in one, that miracle center, the swamp, is no more. So before I say that's all, or the end, I am not a geek in begging. Water Aid is a brand and a band of water providers, but I am not. I am a fire brand from the band of the 37, 38 million widows of sub, sub Sahara. Water Aid? Can we journey together as water providers? As widows, we have stretches where water tanks and communal taps can stand. One community tap to a group of widows is an opportunity for the whole community because we can provide clean water to drink, clean water to sell, clean water is a gatherer, clean water is a builder, clean water for sustainable tomorrow. All in this together, a widow and a boho is water for the whole village. So as we have gathered here tonight, as into the night we go deeper, let's into our pockets go deeper, so that water aid to another widow, her family and her neighbors, clean water for better and strong lives they can provide. In so doing, it can be an accelerator gear to a sustainable future for us all. Thank you. My name is Gertrude Gift Kanzoa.
I am a prudent and a poetic storyteller. Thank you.